Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. All right, guys, let's see what's going on for the collective. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What messages do you have, Spirit? For the collective. Oh, there's some regrets going, going around, right? Holy Spirit. Guys, let's see what's going on with the collective, right? Holy Spirit. I just hear some strange noises out there. I just keep looking. There'd be a lot going on out there. It's like, yeah, you just never know what's going to appear. No, oh, somebody's, somebody's dropping their burdens, guys. Somebody's just tired. Somebody's, somebody's throwing their hands up in the situation here. Someone's just tired, giving up. Too much to carry. You're tired of doing it. Feel like you're doing it alone, right? And they're turning their back on a situation. So it's ten of wands in reverse, three of wands in reverse. So someone is turning their back on a situation. Someone's tired. They feel like they're lifting the load by them, themselves. They feel like it's an uphill battle. So you may be turning your back on the situation. Ooh. There's the tower. In reverse. Well, yep. Tower in reverse. I was about to say that looks like um because you turn your back on a situation here with them, the tower in reverse is like unfinished business and another connection. I don't know if you turned your back on this person and then you're giving this person another chance at this new love here. They're coming in with new love. Or this could be another person, right? That you're giving a, a second chance to for a chance at new love. A brand new beginning. Spirit, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. So the person that's trying to offer you this love could either be a very unloving person, Queen of Cups in reverse, or it could be, Spirit could be saying that your person has a karmic uh, an ex or somebody, right? Maybe this person is just unloving. If it is, that's probably why you walked away. So make sure that they're loving when they return, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Or you're going to go through the same shit again and again. Here's the moon in reverse. So you definitely follow your intuition. Spirits that follow your intuition. It looks like you have a decision to make. Somebody has a decision to make. Regarding either a partnership that you walked away from. And you give a second chance to. Or your person walked away from something and they're given a second chance to. But in the beginning, you are walking away from something. So you could be thinking about dumping all these burdens. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, because you have yet to make the decision. The decision has not been made. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. in reverse guys be careful if you give this person a second chance there still may not they still may be unloving right they could be unloving because they have a child's mother they have an empress in reverse that they're tending to and this person is from your past So you believe your person has a baby's mom that they're giving their time and attention to because they're not giving them love to you. Oh, spirit. So 
So this person, they do want a chance with you guys. They want a new beginning with you. This person from your past. But the person from your past is needing to walk away from an empress in reverse. So be careful, guys. This person is in their Knight of Wands energy. So they may just want you and and, and, and this Empress in reverse as well, right? They probably want you both. This person isn't offering you anything. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell us about this Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person is going to break your heart, guys. If they haven't already, they're just, they have this in and out energy with them they're going to break your heart if they haven't already right but you knew this you see it coming so you're not going to be up in your head that you won't be right you're not going to be up in your head holy spirit holy angels tell us more about this, this empress here what's going on there spirit so the person that you're giving a second chance to is still full of shit right they're still full of shit <laughs> So it's going to be the same scenario. If they wasn't loving on you because they had a challenge mom before, you didn't know. Now you know. That's why they can't love on you completely. And, and then you're giving them a second chance. And they still may come in as being unloving. It's going to be one-sided. Spirits said, pay attention to your intuition. That's why you haven't made a firm decision on this bullshit yet. Because you feel some somewhere deep down inside that this person is slacking on that love. It's like they're breadcrumbing you. They're giving you just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. And you said, that ain't enough. I'm still hungry. What the fuck? Why? You said I'm still hungry. That ain't enough. That ain't enough to feed a bird. Alright, this is a good gentleman here, guys. Who is this good gentleman here? So the good gentleman here is Mary. The marriage card came out on the Empress in reverse. Told you. This person could be married. Mm -hmm. So their child's mom. What else, spirit? The person from your past that you give a second chance to—they're gonna break your heart. Now, they're going to court. They're in, they're in front of the court. They have to go to court for something or another. So there's gonna be some grief here and some adversity. In that situation, I guess after court, I'm not taking that one yet. I'm not getting ready. I was receiving a gift. Okay, spirit. Expectation. So this Knight of Wands, his end result is to get to you. He wants to come to you. Because he believes with you there's success and love. How are you going to get success and love treating somebody like shit? Mm. Spirit of angels, who knows, spirit? High honors. I don't know, spirit. Your person could be married to this empress here, but they could be in court. Maybe they're about to get a divorce. Because the empress is in is in reverse. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell us about this marriage card here and a good gentleman. He's trying to protect himself right now against his marriage. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah, he made some bad decisions. I think your person married wrong. <laughs> they married wrong, and now they in court. Now they in court, trying to swim away to calmer waters, trying to get peace, but they fighting. And look, they're fighting, and that came out on top of adversity and all that. Look who they fight. Everybody's fighting. Fighting, 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 fighting. And then in court, he's in court because he's tired of fighting. He wants the marriage to be over. He's trying to swim away to calmer waters. This person is in, a, is, a, is in a race against time. 
he thinks you're expecting him or she thinks you're expecting him you probably don't gave the fuck up you're probably tired too like what the fuck right yeah this person they're trying to end this ten of pentacles and they're trying to do it fast because they think they can have success in love with you after throwing your heart to the wind 101 times right they think oh we're gonna have success in love yeah he's coming in as the Knight of Cups with success and love, guys, and high honors, they believe they can build with you. They believe they planted seeds way back here when you decided to give them a second chance. Ain't that some shit? That's what they said. Spirit. Let's get some messages from your angels, right? Get some guidance messages from your angels. Angels. Any messages for the collective? Ooh. Three, three, three. Three, 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 guys. Anticipate good news or burst of creativity or be the bearer of good news and positive vibes yourself, harmony of mind, body, and soul. So, guys, whatever is going on around you, whatever is going on with your person, you will find complete harmony within your mind, body, and soul. Let your person do what they shit. Let your person stew in they shit. Let your person be in they shit. Send them some poo-pourri. But what you're not going to do is allow them to bring their shit to you. Right? Nope. Handle your shit from afar. I don't even want to know about your shit. Right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Give me the messages from the collective. Wow. 444. Four, four. Whatever you're currently working on will contribute to your happiness. Stay the course and enjoy the process. Guys, you're working on something and you're working really hard at it. I don't know what it is. You know what it is. You're working on something, right? And all that you've been contributing to that will contribute to your happiness. Spirit says stay the course. Enjoy the process. Enjoy, enjoy the late nights. Enjoy the early mornings. Enjoy the... Oh, I forgot to eat because you're busy creating. Spirit said, continue to do it. Stay the course and enjoy the process. Enjoy the late nights. Enjoy the early mornings. Enjoy the everything. Any other messages, Spirit? Any other messages for the collective? Sorry, I think there's a hawk outside my door. And then we have 666. Often interpreted as a satanic number, this number actually speaks of the harmony of feminine forces in your life. The triple goddess number of the maiden, mother, and crone offering you guidance. Guys, I swear this thing keeps looking at me every time I look out the window. All right, and now I'm about to tell y'all something freaky, right? And the card on the bottom is 111. Are you looking at me, bird? The hell? I don't know. But we've got one, one, one. <laughs> Your thoughts and will in the present moment are creating a positive, joyful outcome. Follow what feels empowering and joyful. Right? Guys, but I want to tell you something. I don't know if you noticed, but I pulled out. Three, 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 four, 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 six, 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 and one, one, one. Guys, those are your angels talking directly to you. Oh, and then I flipped it open. I can't make it up, guys. Seven, seven, seven. Encouragement that happiness is on the other side of solitude, rest, and introspection. You already contain the wisdom you need. Guys, so you have a lot going on. That's why you haven't made a decision up there. Spirit wants you to remain creative. However, you need encouragement. You need to know that happiness is on the other side of whatever you're going through. Spirit wants you to go within. Spirit wants you to quiet your mind. Spirit wants you to have your solitude, have your rest. And use this time as wisdom, guys, to move forward. 
All right, let's put, what else we want to put on here? Because we see there's a mess going on there. So let's do some Pandora's box, maybe. Uh, this is going to be Pandora's box. Here we go. What bird, guys, has the yellow feet? That is so big. Is that an eagle? Because <laughs> if it is, then there's an eagle sitting on my fence. But it's a baby eagle. Do eagles hit? No, owls turn all the way around. The freak, man. Guys, what bird has yellow feet with a white breast? It's freaking me out. It's right there. I, I want to pick up my camera and do it. All right, guys. Let's play this video. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What does the collective need to see about this marriage, these fights and stuff that's going on back there? Does the person seem like he's in court? He can't give you love because he's in a marriage. Spirit said, you're absolutely right in her chakras. They can't give you love because your person is currently in a marriage. Mm -hmm. What's going on here, Spirit? Uh, your person is in a is in a empty love. The bird's gone. That was a message from Spirit. So that was a message from Spirit telling me that somebody that I know is, in, is married. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, that's confirmation, guys, to let my collective know that somebody... <laughs> You connected to is married. Anyway, so your person is married, but it's an empty love commitment. So this person, they've been in this long-term relationship that lost all passion, and it's more like a duty. It's not a romance. So that's where your person is. Your person's stuck. But you're willing to drop all these burdens because you're like, okay, that's your problem. That don't mean I'm going to be unhappy next to you. That doesn't mean I'm going to be slighted next to you. That doesn't mean I'm, I'm going to get to see you once a month. That doesn't mean, no, 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 no. I ain't used that in a while. No, no. I'm sorry you upset. And I'm sorry you chose those demons. Right? And I'm sorry you're unhappy. And I'm sorry, let me say this. For you unhappily married people. Man or woman. Like, I don't know you all situations. And I know some people say that they can't leave the marriage because of children. Some people say they can't leave because of financial reasons. Some people say, some people say, some people say. Right? If I'm that unhappy, I'm leaving. If that means I got to sell the house, burn the house, <laughs> refinance the house, Sell the condo, move out the condo, downgrade, rent, get an apartment, move out of the apartment, move the fuck back home, move in with a brother, sister, cousin, auntie, uncle, and take my kids with me. That's what I would do, but I will not stay unhappily married for years on top of years on top of years. Do you know what that does to your mental state? Like you're mentally fucked up. You don't know who you are. You don't know how to love. You don't know how to receive. You don't know how to give back because you're stuck in a place you don't know, you don't want to be. You're stuck. You're stuck for money. You're stuck because of the kids. You're stuck. At some point, you got to wake up. Some people getting abused. I don't know. Some people say, oh, well, she's sick and he's sick and he's sick. Guess what? They have homes for that shit. They have homes. Because I'm going to tell you right now, guys, let's say, okay, I'll say I'm married, right? I don't care. Guys, let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. I'm not staying in an empty love commitment. I'm just not going to. I'm just not going to. Like, me and that person, we'd have to work something out. Like, okay, say I'm married to this man, and then all of a sudden, and we're in our 40s, right? But then all of a sudden... He just can't have sex anymore. Say so he had a car accident and he's paralyzed from the waist down. But I still love you, Junior. I do. And I don't want to leave you. However, Junior, Mama's going to have a boyfriend. Because guess what? If shit was reversed, 
and I had an accident and I'm paralyzed from the waist down and I can't give you any, guess what? I'm going to encourage you, Junior, because how dare me to expect you to give up that part of your life in your 40s? That ain't right. And I think people don't see the other side of things. What, I'm supposed to sit here and be miserable because, no, people, come on, be fair. Be fair. So if that ever happened to me, sir, whoever I'm with, go be happy. Go be fucking happy. Just make sure I'm straight. That's all. Go be happy. Don't put the shit in my face. Whatever. Put me in an apartment somewhere. Go be happy. Ah, anyway, your person's married. Unhappily married. And that was a message. We got 333-444-666-111-777. And the whole damn time there was an eagle out there or whatever was sitting on my thing. I don't know what it was, but I'm going to look it up. So your person chose the bad apples, guys. A bag of bad apples. They're dealing with rotten, nasty, and spoiled people. Entitled people. Expecting people. Passion. So your person, they want to find a new love or a new adventure. Of course you do, because you're unhappy married. So be careful, guys, that you're not the new adventure, right? The new toy for the month, right? That could be they get down. Who the hell knows? But your person is unhappily married. But they play with you. Ooh, Spirit said, take it, girl. So it's a realization of judgment of rebirth. So your person is realizing... That they want this change. They want a rebirth. They want a change in their life. They want a change in their life. I don't know, guys. You want to know who we're dealing with? Is this your soulmate? Who is your holy angels? Who is this person? Right? It's the romance angels. I just saw two, two, two. Wow. Oh, my God. Two, two, two. That's another one. Who is this person? This is a collective spirit. So you know who you're dealing with. Who is your holy angels? Who is this person to the collective? Is anything going to come of this spirit for the collective? Mm. There go a card. Something snuck out. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So this person is highly attracted to you. You're probably attracted to them. The only thing is, they have somebody. Y'all have passion for one another. Allow your heart to and soul to sing with joy. What else? Forgiving and learning. You're going to have to learn to forgive <laughs> and learn from this. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present. So your person is going to have to learn to forgive and let go of their past and love their present moment. I think they past messed them up, right? Past, past messed your person up and your person is still stuck in their past. You can't have a future with your person because your person is still in their past. Spirits are keeping an open mind though. Your soulmate may differ from the usual type and expectations, guys. Yeah, because you didn't expect all this bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But spirit says stay optimistic. <laughs> Positive thinking and faith will bring you this, will bring in you, bring in this romance, guys. So I guess this person, they're gonna make the effort. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What else is going on here, spirit? So they are attracted to you guys. They're gonna have to learn, forgive, and learn from their past. And they're gonna have to make the effort if they want you, right? They have to make the effort if they want you. So I guess after they go to court, they're going to choose not to hold themselves back anymore. Mm -hmm. So they're walking away from a nine of pentacles in reverse. They could have lost money while they were in court. And now they're watching you. They got their eye on you. The karma could be watching you too. And there you are, the queen of swords. They're probably both watching you. <laughs> somebody's taking a knee. Somebody's just tired. It looks like somebody's giving up, though. 
Or maybe they think you've given up. You're in your nine of wands. You probably give it up on this whole connection. You're in temperance, right? You're moving on. You got your back turned to all of it. So you you may just be giving up on this connection. For four swords in reverse. Clarify. Oh, spirit, you talking to me? So it looks like somebody has healed. What is this spirit? Yeah, you heal from all these shenanigans. I think you're going to walk away. I think you're tired of it. Actually, you may run away in your Knight of Swords energy. It's like Five of Pentacles and then Knight of Swords. It's like you healed from all this bull. Because you probably knew what was going on. You felt it, right? Yeah. Sun in reverse. You probably think nothing can come of this. It's like shade every day. Nothing can come of this. You put an ending to it. Yeah, you did. You put an ending to it. Wow. You want change. You say you got to do better than this, sir, ma'am. You got to do better than this. What else do I want to look at? For you guys. If your person could say anything to you. If your person can say anything to you, what would they say, guys? I'm using in my feelings. So your person is like in a conundrum. But you dropping your burden. It's like you're turning your back on this situation. Mm-hmm. How's your person feeling about you right now? Ooh, all of that. How's your person thinking and feeling about you right now? Mm. They lonely. Your person is lonely without you. I told you. They're unhappily married. Unhappily married and lonely without you. To them, this situation is very tense, guys. It's, they're just all wound up. I felt another card flip too. I don't know if it flipped all the way. It says fearful. They could be having bad dreams. So they're feeling lonely. The situation is tense to them. What else is going on? They want to be with you, though, because they think you're very playful. Everybody's talking about it. What's going on? You gossip. And this is what's going on with your person. They're on a spiritual journey, guys. So your person, they've probably been praying lately. They've been getting their prey on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. How is this going to turn out for the collective and her person spirit? That came out quick, right? You're going to keep working on yourself. And this person, they're going to work hard to get to you. They are. They have a lot of regrets or no regrets. No. Oh, okay. you just going to stay working. Five of Cups in reverse. You don't have no regrets about what's going on. Oh, you don't have no regrets about not going forward with this person. It's a chariot in reverse. You don't have no regrets about just putting it into it. Mm. You probably think this person is childish. Page of Pentacles. Oh, spirit, what else? Yeah. You're not up in your head anymore when it comes to this person. They probably waited too long. They could have lied to you. You probably didn't know they was married. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe you think this person is just too sneaky. Maybe things just doesn't make sense. You could be walking away from this person, right? You could be sneaking away. 
If you think this person is a liar, yeah, you're cutting people out. Ace of Swords. You're making a, a decision for you, right? You you decide that that wasn't your wish fulfillment. What you thought was your wish fulfillment wasn't. All right, yep, yeah, love is in reverse. You're going to put an end to it. You said that is not your wish fulfillment. You do want new beginnings, but I don't think it's with that person. Yep, yeah, you said I want new beginnings, but not with you. Not a pentacles in reverse. Damn, you's a bitch. All right, guys. <laughs> you ruthless. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is your reading. Someone's walking away. You drop your burden. Somebody's tired. But your person's married. Shit. That's all I know. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.